Hello everyone. I hope you all are fit and fine. I am Khyati Maurya, a student of class 9th E. And today I am going to make something that is really very interesting. And it represents the art and culture of Manipur. And it involves maths too in it. As we all know, Manipur is a northeastern state of India. And its capital is Imphal. When we talk about about Manipur, its culture came in our minds as we it is known for its culture. So its culture mainly involves the classical dance known as Manipuri classical dance. So today what I am going to make is a beautiful drawing of Manipuri classical dance. So let's begin. To make the sketch we need the following materials. First of all we need some sheets, one or two white blank sheets. Otherwise you can also use a sketchbook. A white sketchbook then you need some pens black and red you can use any black pen rather be it a ball black pen or gel black pens you can also use a marker black pen and a red pen then you need two HP pencils a rubber of course and the scale for the measurements first we need to take a scale and a pencil to make the margins I am taking 1.5 on all the four sides so I'll mark 1.5 Scale plays a vital role, that is numbers, as it has markings and without that we cannot have equal measures for making our borders. So before even beginning with our drawing, we need maths, that is numbers, in our drawing skills. So first we'll make a circle. We all are familiar with it. So this is a circle and over this we'll make a cone. So this is a circle and a cone. Next, with the downside of the circle, we'll make a rectangle shape. This becomes a rectangle, and with the rectangle, what we'll make is a semicircle. Now it's time to fair them up. So now I'm going to rub this line and do some corrections over it. Like I will make this like this. And over here it will come like this and this part portion like this for the finishing work once it is done it would look like this somewhat of this now let's continue first we'll make a wavy length like this in maths we have different kinds of line straight line curvy line wavy line so this is one of them a curved line then we'll make a straight line from here Then we'll make another straight line at an angle. Another straight line just over here. And make it curve like this. Now we'll make two semicircle lines like this. They will be the bangles. We'll continue further these lines. A bit narrower as it is a hand for female. Another two semi-circle lines. As in Manipuri classical dance, jewelry plays a vital role and a very important. Now we'll make a hand. Now we'll extend this line further and make it straight like this. Another line we'll make from here parallel to the above one something of this kind and make two semicircles marks on pencil like this now from here we'll make a figure like this an arc shape and a small arc also from here just below it we'll also make some wavy lines from here enrich our drawing. We'll double these lines so it looks uniform. Now we are going to make two lines from here. And make another wavy line from here. You can also see two arcs over here. One and this can be called as second one. 
now we'll make triangle we all know what triangle is so let this be one line and this be another line so these were the two triangular lines i have made them a wavy so it looks like that is a floral dress now instead of making a straight line over here i am making some wavy lines like this to enrich the look also i will make two lines over here now let's come to this part we'll make first some lines like this you can make these curvy lines in any way you want this is called random lines and then just overlap these lines to make them darker and give them some space between them make another line same i will do over here it's not necessary that they come to be even or the area between them is equal it's not necessary at all let's correct this line a bit mistakes happen and leads to perfection same with the drawing same with maths for practice leads to perfection now the most important thing about the manipuri dance is the cylindrical shape skirt so we'll make using it a skirt make a slender shape like this we can also make it by free hands and using to probably a skirt so this becomes the bottom most part of the skirt part For which Manipuri dance is famous for. Now make some sections, some parallel lines, at an equal distance. As I want parallel lines, I will measure it with a scale. Now let's come to the. the outlining of our joint is done just stop now we'll add some additional ornaments like over here we can add some shapes triangle with a circle some over here also so on so on triangles with a circle one or two would be sufficient enough to enhance the beauty of joint these ornaments are really very special and wear on auspicious occasions in manipur now using a black pen i'm going to outline all these things so this is the look of our drawing after the outlining now let's work on the tiny details of the face very small and acute things literally means a lot if it gets wrong everything gets wrong even happens in maths even if you make a simple calculation wrong everything gets wrong Now we'll make some hairs over here. To add 
you do? Some over here also. These are our earrings. And now with a triangle, I'm gonna make a circle, two lines. Again, equal distance, measure with scale. I would make another line over here then. With some more measurements, same distance, make another line. Like this. Now I have to make some straight lines. Over here also some. Some over here. And I'm not gonna make them with the black pen. So this is the outlook. Now the part is using black and red pen. You're gonna fill. And here comes another main thing of maths that is symmetry. Now let's see how symmetry works in this Manipuri classical dance. Sketch. Action. Now we'll make some lines with the help of scale like this. It should be equidistance. Only in this much area. We have to include this area. Over here comes another major role of maths that is area. So we have to keep in mind while drawing that area should be equal between them. Now we'll make lines like this all over here, here and so on. Now I have drawn lines like this and this. Now what I'm gonna do is make small small circles in each block like this in each and every block and then cover the rest of the part in this way you can even do this with the help of a sketch pen if you want to similarly you have to do this in all these boxes so this is the outcome of that red and white dot pattern now the next thing we are going to do is the symmetric work in this wavy line so we are going to make patterns like this big circle with inner circle and a dot you complete the full line with these dots so we can also make double lines over here like this down and up next symmetry that we are going to use is over here the belt and over here we'll make semi circles like this we can see how maths is useful in this drawing. After making these semicircles, we will also make another semicircle inside these. This way. And fill them completely black. Same will do over here also. Okay. So it is done. We will keep it simple. Now the baby thing, the border we did here, we will do the same in over here also. Like this. Over here also here we'll make the same design now we have completed this line similar to this one now we'll make a design like this and over here also another one let's pair them up And inside them, we are going to make borders first. So let these be our borders. Similarly in this one. This is our border. And inside this, we are going to fill it with designs. Like this. This whole pattern is made with lines. Different kinds of lines. Same way, we have to fill in this also. Now this is done. Now let's come to this area. Over here, we'll make circles. And these circles should be of perfect measurement. So you can either use a small coin or a compass or anything, a stencil to make these circles. So I am preferably taking a coin and making these circles. You can use any round or any circular thing, especially compass, that is really helpful in making these circles with proper diameter and radius. So after making this circle, make inner circle. And then 
make another circle in the interior followed by other circle and now you have to make small petals and after this you have to make big petals like this you have to do this procedure and fill this completely black you have to do this same procedure in all the four so here it is done i have used two types of patterns there is two type of symmetry the thing that we keep, need to keep in mind is the area that we are taking it should be same equal so that our drawing looks perfect and nothing looks like dull or something out of the way next that thing we will do is her hair part let's color them now we'll make some patterns over here and here we'll also make some of them over here the same ones so now let's wait for the final look next that thing we will do is her hair part let's color them now we'll make some patterns over here and here we'll also make some of them over here the same ones so now let's wait for the final look so this is the final look of our manipuri classical dance sketch and the sketch was only possible because of maths pure mathematics is in its own way the poetry of logical ideas we used many triangles circles and many symmetrical ways area to make this the concepts that we used are concept of area use of shapes accurate measurements and symmetry's vital role in our sketch thank you this was all from my side hope you all like it thank you